Hello, everyone. So what have you been doing recently to keep from climbing the walls? Going on walks, reading books? You know, my wife and daughter are currently on their 15th jigsaw puzzle. Only 12 more to go. Speaking of puzzles, here's a good one. How can you measure the performance of your portfolio during times like this? What benchmarks should you use? Market and economic data are all in flux. Normal metrics are out the window. You know, the most important performance factor may be your perspective. You could compare your portfolio value from its highest point until today, but be sure to be sitting down if you do. Or similarly, you could compare where your account value was at the end of 2019. Again, probably not a pretty picture. Let me suggest using a different perspective. What was the value of your account on March 9, 2009? That was the date of the recent bull run that began in the stock market. And the market kept running for the next 11 years. If you were back with us in 2009, or even if you weren't, you've come a long way, baby. Even with the recent correction, the last 11 years has been pretty impressive. Let me offer another analogy. Nestled in the Black Hills of South Dakota is one of my favorite monuments, Mount Rushmore. Now, if you were to stand on top of Mount Rushmore, staring down at the tops of the heads of Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt, you may not be impressed, maybe even disappointed. But once you get several hundred feet away from the monument and gain a different perspective, you realize the breathtaking grandeur that over two million visitors witness annually. Use that same perspective when thinking about your investments. Yes, these are uncertain times. Things could get worse before they get better. It's frustrating now because there's so much you can't control. We get it. So focus on what you can control and what is important to you, your family, your occupation, and your recreation aka your bucket list. So what should you buy right now? Aha, a trick question. It's not what should you buy as much as it is what should you buy into? The answer is buy into the process. We have a process built on numbers, built on data and built on history. We need to be patient and let the process work. We need to trust the process. Finally, don't forget that you hired us to help put all the puzzle pieces together and help you enjoy a fearless retirement. Now, your investments are an important piece of that puzzle, but not the only piece. There are lots of pieces, many of which are already in place. So until next time, make it a great day.